Okay, I feel like I can get you to balance in there. And the sun has gone out. Good morning. Would you like to spend the day with me? Because I would love you to spend the day with me. I have a laundry list of kind of decorative chores I need to get done. And I feel like if you're watching over me, I'm more likely to do them. We're starting in the kitchen. I'm gonna change the hardware on these cupboards because dun, 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 I don't know why when I changed these cupboards from like dark gray to white, I didn't think to change the hardware, but we all know I'm more of a gold girl. Look. I have gold bracelet, I've got gold earrings, which I got the last weekend and I'm so happy with them. By the way, I'm really going off topic, but give me two seconds. I got this bracelet from um, Astrid and Miu, I think it's called. I've never been there before. The shopping experience, I way preferred to other jewelers. You go in and you can pick things up and like, I could pick the bracelet up and put it on my wrist. And I know in a jewelers you can go, oh, can I look at that one? But then it's like, can I look at that one? Can I look at that one? Can I look at that one? Whereas in this shop, I could just go, yeah. No, yeah. And then I could just hold the earrings up to my ears and it was a great time. I really loved it. So I will have the link for this down below and it is twisty. It is a twisty bracelet, but it doesn't catch hairs in it, which is a very niche thing to worry about. But I have had a necklace before that was twisty and it used to always catch my hairs and it was painful. So when I put this on my wrist, I was like, does it catch hairs? No, because I plan to leave this on my wrist for just a very, very, very long time. So I picked this up. I also picked up little um, earrings. I will have both of them linked down below if you are interested. And let's get back onto hardware. These are the two options that I ordered. They are both from Amazon. And this one to me looks, I don't want to use the word cheap, but that's the only word that I can think. It looks more, cheap isn't the word. I, d I don't know how to explain. This just looks more fancy. Fancy also isn't the word. Help me out here, please. What am I trying to say? So they've arrived. This is the gold that I thought I would prefer, but once it's in the kitchen and you hold it like this, this is the gold I think I way prefer. So these are the two options. We've got this one here, gold, or we've got this one like this. And I just, I very much think I prefer this one. First job of the day is to change 10 of these. I'm also going to get myself a coffee and something to eat because I don't know if you can hear my voice. I've just woken up. I'm going to change 10 of these because they came in a pack of 10 and then I will order the other 10 and get that done at some point. I've just put in a test one and do you know what? I really, really like it. I like it a lot. I don't know if you can tell but that side there is shorter than that side. I debated for a long time which way to put it, but I think I like this way so that when you grab the handle, your thumb's got like the full plate rather than like, nah. do you know what I mean? I really quite like it. I also very much apologize for the sun. I don't think you can tell, it's, it doesn't look that dark on camera actually. I really thought, I was like, this morning I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna come home, I'm gonna film, it's gonna be a great time. I woke up this morning and I checked the weather app, which I never do, I don't trust weather apps because they're always wrong. But I was like, oh, let me just see. And it was like, yeah, it's gonna be sunny for like three hours and then you're done for the day. I also watched a video from a Californian social media person and they said, oh, it's coming to the end of summer. Pardon? What, do you, what summer? We haven't had summer. If you're from the UK, how confused are you with this weather? It's like sunny and warm and then suddenly pouring it down but still warm and then it's sunny again, but then it's cold and then it's kind of cloudy and gray and then spitting and honestly, the weather. I don't know how to dress. I don't know whether to take my brolly or put sun cream on. I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna put these on because I'm just procrastinating. I'm already procrastinating. Welcome to our coffee cupboard. Cute. This job is a lot quicker than I thought it was gonna be. Playing Gossip Girl on Netflix. Oh my goodness, I love them. <gasps> I love them so much. Oh yay. I have however noticed, I have no idea how to do this handle. When I coated all of these doors, I basically just covered the doors in white as you can see, wrapped it around the back 
and then I took the handle off and put it back on again. But with this, I didn't know how to get the handle off, so I just wrapped and pushed it through. And you can see these two lines, which, I mean, I never noticed, but they are annoying. But I don't know how to get the handle off. So now it looks like I'm gonna have gold hardware everywhere apart from the dishwasher. This is the next thing on the list for the kitchen, but I actually think I'm gonna leave this until a bit later this evening. So these are under, what's it called? Under cabinet lighting. This is what they look like. Not that you can see super well on camera, but then they'll go under the cabinets. This is so hard to film. <laughs> they'll go under the cabinets like this so that it looks nice and light in the evening times. And rather than having just the hob light on, you can have some cute lighting underneath. I'm not too sure which um, switches to take them from though. Not gonna lie, not entirely sure how this is gonna work because they only come with one plug. So I feel like I'm gonna have to order some more so that I get another plug adapter. Or do I get another one? What's this? What on earth is this? <gasps> do they have a dimmer? Oh no, it's just an on off. Okay, anyway. I need somehow to get them from here across the hob to there. So I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do that, but we'll look at this a little bit later. For now, I am going to eat my porridge and watch a little bit of Gossip Girl. Welcome to the bedroom. Our bedding definitely needs changing. The bed is not made, but this is new. This I put up yesterday and I'll try and insert some footage of me putting up. It is a world map that I got off Amazon. I will of course link it as per. It comes and it's wooden and then I've just gone ahead and painted it all. I feel like I did a really good job of painting. There are some bits that I'd like to go over. Where is it? Where is, oh this bit. This bit needs another coat of white I think. But I feel like it went really, really well. And I think I love it. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I haven't finished putting all of the islands on yet. I haven't even put on the UK, which is meant to obviously sit around here. Um, but once all of the islands are on, I think it might look a bit better. There's lots of planes and ships that you can add. And then I've got some photo frames that I want to put on to show sort of where we've traveled and pictures of that. And then, yeah, I think it goes. So the color scheme that I'm kind of going for, bear in mind it's me and I'm not good at decorating with color schemes. I say that, I should be more positive. I'm great at decorating. The color scheme I'm kind of going for is gray, white, natural like woods, greens and blues but just pops of greens and blues and mainly whites, greys and woods. When the bed is made, we do have our blue cushion and our blue throw, um, which I feel like ties in with this nicely. We have the two green plants either side. I feel like it looks nice, you're gonna have to let me know. And I bought a new little duvet cover set to go on the bed. But before I go ahead and make the bed, I have some new accessories courtesy of Emma who are sponsoring this video. And I'm so, so excited because guys, I have a weighted blanket. This is so heavy. It is so heavy, but I have wanted a weighted blanket for the longest time. I've heard so many good things about sleeping with a weighted blanket. I also got two pillows and these are going to be very, very helpful because I went to the doctors recently because I have shooting pains down my arm um, and I went to see the doctor and he was like, oh, it's nothing to worry about. Like it's just mechanical. I think was the word. And then he asked me a bit about my lifestyle and what I do and all of that kind of stuff. And then he said, are you a side sleeper? Yes, yes I am. And do you sleep with your arm under your pillow lifted up? Yes, yes I do. Um, and so he said, try and sleep on your back. My pillow is not designed for back sleeping. It's also probably 10 years old. So I already knew that I needed a new pillow. And then I got contacted by Emma, who as you know, I have worked with before. Um, they gave us our mattress, which you know we loved. And they were like, oh, did you want to choose a couple of accessories? And I was like, yes, I need a new pillow, please, please, please. It's a pillow that you can adjust the height of and the firmness of. Let's unzip this and have a look inside. Oh my gosh. So it has different layers. So you can choose which ones you keep and which ones you don't use. That's so cool. I'm so excited to have a new pillow. This is, wow, this is heavy. I'm so excited. It kind of feels like a little hug. Obviously, I cannot give a proper review after two seconds of using it, but I mean, it feels pretty good and I've wanted one for so long, but when I've looked into them in the past, they've been so expensive. But this one, if you are interested, is actually already in the Emma sale for 55% off 
and that's without using my code. So I have a code for you. If you want any of the Emma accessories or anything on the Emma website, then they have their Emma sale on at the moment, which is 55% off. And then I have my code, which is extra discount, which I will have on the screen for you and in my description below. And you can just pop over to their website, have a look. They've got loads of things to choose from, like the weighted blanket, lots of different pillow options, depending on how you sleep. But I have a link in my description, 55% off, and then use my code on top of that, which I'll have on the screen and in the description. I'm gonna go ahead now and make the bed. is done I feel like the blues all go really nicely I'm really really happy with it I'm excited to sleep on our new pillows tonight for now I'm gonna get my gym gear on we're heading to the gym and on the way back I'm gonna see if I can get a new lamp for here and then when I get back from the gym we are moving to the living room space to decorate that and just like that I am all ready for the gym so I'm gonna head to the gym I'm just gonna do a quick little workout sweat a little bit hello I am home I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a smoothie and then show you the purchases that I made, which there's quite a few of. For the longest time, I felt like something looked off in the kitchen. I was like, it doesn't quite look right. And I never, I never would have considered, oh, it's the handles that are making the kitchen look wrong. But now that these ones are on, I feel like the kitchen looks more cohesive and like, it just feels better. Making myself a smoothie. So I've got some spinach in the bottom, um, some oats, some berries, and then milk, which I could measure out in a measuring jug and then pour nicely through the measuring jug spout. But instead, I always just fill up my coffee cup and then pour it in and hope for the best. And today that went well, so that's good. Welcome to a little area of our house that I don't think I've ever filmed in before. This is our bay window with my plants that are somehow still living. I, I don't know how it's happening, but they are still alive on the windowsill. And then we have here my bookcase of pastel colored decor, which I think I'm finally ready to let go of. Um, I still adore pastel. Please do not think I have gotten over my pastelness. I just think I'm ready to I'm not ready to grow up yet, but I just think decor wise, I'm ready to step away from pastel and move on. The color scheme that I think I want to go for in this room is gonna be really similar to upstairs. So I'm thinking base colors of white and then light oak woods and then accents of greens because I love me some plants. I just want plants everywhere. Like I want a whole shelf above the TV with plants and then blues and golds. So like just little gold accents here and there um, and then deep blues. So, so I bought a deep blue cushion and then I also bought this one, which I feel matches quite nice. It's got the blue in there, but it's also got the green and the white. So I feel like it ties kind of things together. Let's talk briefly about this chair. Nick purchased this chair. This was his, his, his purchase. So I really wanted a small accent chair, like one of the, the smaller ones and a little coffee table. And I said that to Nick and he was like, I love that. I can't wait for that. Like I'm gonna sit there in the mornings. And then I just couldn't find anything. Nick kept going, when are you getting that chair? When are you getting that chair? I really want to sit in that chair. So I finally just said, Nick, you do it. And then this chair came up on deal. And I think this was from John Lewis. And I think it was down from 500 pounds to 100 pounds. And something you should know about Nick, he is a sucker for a deal. Before I know it, this chair is in the house. <laughs> and I was like, it's not really the color that we agreed or the size. So I think we're actually going to wrap this up let me know any advice on how and put it in the garage until we move home which hopefully is at some point in the future we are looking all the time for a house or at least nick is <laughs> nick is looking all the time for a house and when a nice one comes up and it's a good price for what it is we will move i got this cushion from h m home i also got this from h m home which to me looks a little like a cupcake or the poop emoji either or. It is a candle holder, but Nick and I don't really burn candles. But what I'm thinking of doing is finding like a deep blue candle, putting it in, letting it burn and letting it like run down and then 
having that as the decor with like a shorter burnt candle. Oopsie, I bought some stuff. I got this, which is the kind of wood that I wanna go for. Also, I kind of wanna change this bookcase, but I'm not ready for that just yet. It's too much all at once. But I kind of wanna change this bookcase. At the moment, it's marble and gold. I think I wanna go for like light wood, kind of like this, maybe light wood shelving but I'm not entirely sure, so I'm not ready for that just yet. Then I got some more plants. These ones are obviously fake ones, but they have such beautiful colors. I got another teeny little plant. I got a little cactus garden that looks like this in a beautiful dark blue pot. This was definitely more of an impulse buy, but I saw it and it just looked cute. I got a little gold monkey. He kind of reminds me of the monkey in, is it Temple Run? Now this was down from 14 pounds, to £9.80 because it's been discontinued. It looks like quite a substantial like rock decoration, but it's just plastic. I also got this. I like this a lot. I also got this, which I want to put on the coffee table when we get the coffee table and we know what's going in this area. It's a noughts and crosses game, but it's marble and gold, which is just perfect. And then I also got this from Dunelm. This was £14, it's just a throw. My camera died. I also got this in the range. You say you don't wanna get in trouble, that you don't find cause you got me. I don't wanna break your little bubble, but you gotta wake up to reality. Cause I can see. Okay, this is how the bookcase is looking currently. There are minimal books on this bookcase. Um, I need something to go down here. Um, and then I also just put this little um, leaf in the top of that instead of a candle for now. I have the books and I like the way that the books look from this angle. But then obviously from this angle, you can definitely see the top of the book. I'm wondering whether to like cover it up. And I broke the plants out of the plant pots and shoved them into that. And I love how that looks. You may disagree, but I absolutely love that. And then this is what we've got at the top. So that's how it looks so far. I do think I wanna change the bookcase, maybe get more of a bigger bookcase that sort of fills this area a bit more. On this wall, I wanted to do a gallery wall, kind of like I had in the old apartment. Um, obviously back in the old apartment, it was pastel colors and everything was pastel and I've got all of the like old pictures that I had on the wall here. Um, but I kind of wanted to do a different one and have some black frames, some gold frames. I think I've spoken about this in a video actually. And then I made this to hang there as well. And I was so excited about the idea of a gallery wall, but then I changed my mind and feel like that might be too busy. If, if I've got a big bookcase over there with lots of pieces on it and then plants around the bay window and then I wanted some plants above the TV and then I've got the sofa with cushions on it, and then I've got loads of stuff on the wall. I suddenly thought that feels, to, it just feels really busy in my mind. So now I'm wondering whether I just get like two or three big artwork pieces. And then above the TV, I want floating shelves, which I have ordered. Two have arrived. I think I'm gonna need three up there, but I think Nick is gonna help me put them up when he gets home from work, so. They look like this. I'm trying to show you while like holding my arm out. Pretty bog standard floating shelves, and I want them to go above the TV. I want the shelves to kind of go from here all the way along to there. Just white so they blend in with the wall, but then with loads of green plants kind of hanging down off of it. Is that too much? I feel like now I've changed what's on there, and now that I'm going for more of that aesthetic, this bookcase looks tiny in that space. I feel like I want something to really fill out that space. And then we've got the cushions on the sofa, which I think look really nice. And I just want some nice big artwork up there. I'm so happy with the work that I've done today. I'm a very happy girl with how today went, but for now, Hello. it's time for me to make dinner. Hi, Nick. This is our dinner for tonight. So we've got chicken on top of edanami beans, cucumber, little um, little sushi rice balls with, I think it's sriracha and mayo and a spice. I don't know what it's called with uh, sesame seeds and then a little dipping sauce on the side. So we're gonna go ahead, eat this, and then hopefully the next clip will be us putting up shelves or this is the end of the vlog. I'll leave you hanging. Turns out we don't own a drill, so no shelves this evening, but I won't leave you hanging. Doodle pip. <laughs>